Hi guys, welcome back. It's Lisa. Today I've got a very beautiful and simple Dollar Tree DIY for you. We are going to be making a Z Gallery dupe for their Emerson Bowl. And I'll insert a picture of the Emerson Bowl here so you can see what that looks like. And what you'll need, everything that you'll need for this project can be found at Dollar Tree, except for spray paint and the E6000 glue. So, you'll need a bowl, a clear bowl, any shape, any size that you want from Dollar Tree. It would be better if it doesn't have any ornamentation or decorative ridges on it, so that it's more in keeping along uh, the lines of the Emerson Bowl. And then you'll need one of these tea light holders. They come in a pack of two, but you'll only need one. You're going to need some tape, of course E6000, and then you'll need some spray paints. Now, the Emerson Bowl comes in more than just one color. It comes in sapphire. When they, they name the bowls for the different colors that are on the inside of the bowl and not necessarily for the outside of the bowl. So, the one I'm going to be replicating is their sapphire bowl. So I'm going to be using silver spray paint. And then it, the sapphire, of course, is blue. But I won't be um, using blue because I don't really accessorize around my house with blue. So I'm going to switch that up. Um, you can use whatever color you like. If you want to do a silver bowl with an interior finish of, uh, say, or bronze, if that's what you want to decorate with around your house, you could do that. You could do gold. If you wanted to do that, you could do silver on the inside of the bowl. You could do gold on the outside. You could do white on the inside. So whatever spray paints you have at home, that coordinate with your home decor, you can use those colors. So, let's get started. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got everything taped off on the outside. And I did fail to mention to you, you will need some of this clear coat. Unless you want to paint the outside of the bowl, then you could do that if you want to. You can paint the outside of the bowl and then paint the inside of the bowl. I'm just gonna be doing my color layers on the inside of the bowl. So, first, I'm going to be painting it with silver because that's going to be the first color that you see on the bowl on the outside so that'll be showing through the glass. Once I'm done with the silver then I'm going to be painting it with clear and that's going to protect the silver layer and then I'm going to put another layer of spray paint on the inside on top of the clear which is going to be gold. That is going to be my internal side and internal color of the bowl and then once the gold layer has been done I'll be going back over the entire thing with a last coat of clear. And that's going to protect the layers of paint. Now, like I said, you do not have to do it this way. You can paint your internal color on the inside of the bowl, turn it over, and paint the outside color on your bowl. That's the easier way to do it. However, you are still going to need to go over the top of that paint with some clear coat to protect the finish you're going to get a much higher shine by painting the inside of the glass bowl. That is why I'm going to do it this way. But once I've got all these paint layers done, I'm going to come back in and show you guys how the bowl looks. Okay guys, this is the two coats of the silver paint plus this top coat already done. So this is dry, I'm gonna go out, and then I'm gonna be doing the center of the bowl, which is gonna be this gold layer, which is next. And then once this is all dry, I'll come back in and we'll get this project all wrapped up. Okay guys, well, look at the paint finish on that, isn't that beautiful? Look at how beautiful and reflective both of these colors are. And so now the only thing left to do um, and I just wanted to tell you really quickly about how I did the paint once again. So this is the first color on the inside, which was the silver. The second was the clear to protect the silver coat. And then the third coat is the gold on the inside. And all of these are sprayed on the inside. And then once I finished with the gold, I went over the top of it with a clear coat. In this one here, I only did the coat in silver because it's the base of the bowl. It's the foot of the bowl. And so you won't be able to see any gold interior on it anyways. Okay, and you want to let this dry for at least a couple of hours before you start 
trying to handle it. Well, there you have it, guys. A simple, beautiful, glam DIY project. I hope you guys will give this an easy DIY a try. I'd like to thank each of you for stopping by Cozy Casita. You're always welcome. If you like these kinds of DIYs, share them with your friends. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.